Welcome to The Sun today for the 24th of March 2022. The main news today is that the solar wind velocity is increasing and of course that my Twitter channel is still not working properly as yet. This is the summary chart that I usually put together and let's deal with each one of these issues separately. First of all, we'll look, take a look at sunspot number. The sunspot number is stable, right about 45 for the last few days. The average for the month so far is 65. That's quite high. And the likely trend is it's stable, possibly increasing over the next few days. The projected average for March is 61. The KP index varying between one and three indicate that geospace is relatively quiet at the moment. However, we still have that large coronal hole approaching the Western hemisphere of the sun that could become geoactive any day now. As possibly a precursor to this, the solar wind has increased up to 530 kilometers per second, which is in the high range. However, BZ, the vertical component of the interplanetary magnetic field remains north. That's aligned the same way as the Earth's magnetic field. So therefore any reconnection is unlikely to occur. So we're safe until BZ turns south. The X-ray flux from the GO spacecraft is down slightly to B8 from C1. And we've had 18 C flares in the last day. And you can see they're varying anything from a C1 to a C8 over that period of time. We have yet more sunspots coming over the northeast limb. You can see that uh, there are at least two regions, possibly three regions, packed together here, which makes it probable that these are going to start interacting with one another and create more flares. For example, the C8 flare that happened early this morning was an interaction between this leading sunspot group and the large trailing spot. Next, we'll take a look at the Lasco C2 data. This is a coronagraph on the SOHO spacecraft. And there are several nice provinces around the limb, but none are erupted yesterday. We have had a few minor CMEs. Uh, so I'm going to show you a video of that with three repeats so you get to see them, but they are relatively small, so you're gonna to have to look carefully. What can we conclude from all of this? Well, the sun remains surprisingly active for this early stage of the solar cycle. Sunspot regions are getting larger and more long lived. Flares are becoming more common and bigger. We had 18 C flares between C1 and C8 in the last 24 hours. And an M flare seems likely in the next few days. The time between spotless days, it sets a new record. We're at 102 days. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please pass it on to others who might benefit from it. But in the meantime, stay safe and goodbye.